Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel International Storyteller. In this channel you will find true horror stories worldwide. These stories are for entertainment purposes only. In this video, I will tell you the story of the haunted U-boat submarine of the German Navy, called UB-65, during the First World War. The German submarine UB-65 is one of the 24 U-boat class submarines especially designed to operate from the ports of occupied Belgium during the First World War. This submarine was operated by three officers and 31 crew members. The U-boat was laid down at the naval dockyard at Wilhelmshaven in June 1916, and for the first time, bad luck began to happen. The first victim was a German worker who died within a few days of the beginning of submarine construction. During the construction of the submarine, a heavy metal girder, being lowered into position in the hull, slipped from the crane tackle and crashed down onto the partially built boat, killing one of the German workers instantly. A second worker also died in the hospital a few days later, as a result of injuries sustained in the same accident. After that, three men died in the engine room after becoming overcome by poisonous fumes. A total of five men had already been killed before the boat had even been put to sea. When the submarine set trials for the first time, further disaster struck the UB-65 when a crew sent forward to inspect hatches was swept overboard and lost in the sea water. The sea trials went without further incident until the captain gave the order for the UB-65 to dive underwater for the first time. The captain had ordered to level the submarine at 30 feet from the surface of the sea, but instead the boat sank to the bottom of the sea, resulting in a fracture in one of the forward ballast tanks. The inside compartment of the submarine was flooded with water, reaching the giant batteries. After being trapped there for 12 hours, the submarine finally emerged from the depths of the sea to the surface of the water. Although the whole crew was suffering from the effects of toxic fumes created by the flooding of the batteries, two men died in the hospital shortly after coming ashore. Finally, in early February 1917, the UB-65 was commissioned into the Imperial German Navy and placed under the command of Oberleutnant Karl Honig an officer with great experience in the German U-boat service. It was not long before he also experienced for the first time that surrounded his new command. While torpedoes were being loaded prior to the UB-65 going out on her first patrol mission, a warhead exploded, killing the second officer and eight crew members. Nine other crews were seriously wounded. The U-boat was being towed back into dry dock for repairs, and then many people started witnessing ghosts. A seaman swore that he saw the ghost of the previous dead second officer standing on the prow of the submarine with his arms folded. Another seaman, Peterson, claimed to have seen the same ghostly officer. So, the day before the UB-65 was to set out on her first patrol, the seaman Peterson ran away. At last, UB-65 was sent out on her first active service patrol. During the course of the patrol, several seamen started seeing the ghost of the previous dead second officer. On one occasion, the duty officer was found crying emotionally on the bridge after having seen the same ghost as the second officer standing on the prow. Three new seamen, who had joined the boat at Zebrugge, also started seeing the ghost of the previous dead second officer before they had time to be warned that the boat was haunted. In January 1918, UB-65 sailed into the English Channel in search of enemy shipping. Before she dived beneath the waves, the starboard lookout on the conning tower saw a person on deck directly below him. As the person turned towards the conning tower, the lookout crew saw that it was the ship's previous dead second officer who had been killed in an explosion on the ship's maiden voyage. The lookout crew was terrified and shouted about what he had seen. Immediately, the captain came to the tower, where he also witnessed the ghostly figure of the previous second officer before it vanished. After sailing for a few days in the English Channel, UB-65 was back in port to undergo repairs. A crew member went into the wardroom but was shocked to see the ghost of the previous dead second officer come on board. The captain and other crew members thought he was hallucinating. But when they investigated the incident, they found another seaman who was in panic mode after seeing the ghost of the previous dead second officer. Thus, the story of the submarine being haunted by the previous dead second officer spread, and no new crew wanted to board it. 
The German authorities, in an attempt to stop the stories, sent another captain to investigate and take command. Yet he became convinced that the men of the UB-65 were telling the truth. The ship was taken out of service, and a Lutheran pastor was asked to exercise the vessel. By June 1918, U-boat losses in the war were becoming a burden on the German naval command. So, the submarine UB-65 was ordered to be prepared for patrol duties. On June 30, the submarine set out on what was to be her last patrol. Early in the morning of July 10, the U.S. submarine was patrolling nine miles off the coast of Cape Clear, in Ireland, at periscope depth. The American captain was studying the scene around him when he sighted a German U-boat moving slowly on the surface. The American captain was able to identify that it was the German submarine UB-65. The American captain moved his submarine into the attack position and was about to give the order to fire two torpedoes, but was surprised to see a shattering explosion that tripped the UB-65 from stem to stern. The captain was later to report that incident immediately before the explosion. But he was amazed to see the ghostly figure of a German naval officer standing on the prow of the U-boat. An investigation determined that the German U-boat had tried to fire its torpedoes, but there was a malfunction. The torpedoes were activated but not launched. As a result, they exploded inside the submarine, killing all the German crew on board. Was this what the ghost of the previous dead second officer was trying to warn his fellow crew members about?